Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be doing a quick tear down and taking a look inside of the Kadas Mine. Now this is a brand new mini PC coming to the market very soon. They will be launching an Indiegogo and I recently did a video on it. It's definitely one of the most interesting mini PCs we've ever taken a look at on the channel. And it's the world's smallest 12 core x86 mini PC on the market right now. This thing is absolutely amazing. They're calling it a portable workstation. You can definitely get work done on it. You can game on it, but I consider this a modular mini PC because they will be offering different accessories that attach to this, like an external GPU dock, an IO dock, and even kind of a laptop dock. If you're interested in checking out my initial video, I'll leave a link for it in the description, but a quick rundown on the specs here. For the CPU, we've got a 12 core 16 thread Raptor Lake i7-1360P, and that CPU will boost up to 5 gigahertz. When it comes to RAM, we've got 32 gigabytes of LP DDR5 running at 5400 megahertz, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, it's a PCIe 4.0 2230 drive, but there's actually another slot in here so we can have two 2230 drives. One's going to be PCIe 3.0. And really, I wanted to see how they fit everything inside of this super small form factor PC. Right now, the only other accessory that I have for this is their IO dock, but hopefully I can get my hands on their GPU dock. That's going to be using an RTX 4060M. But until then, I've actually got a lot planned for this, and I did promise a quick teardown video just to show you everything internally. And I'm a huge fan of the Kadas products. If you're familiar with them, they usually specialize in ARM-based single board computers, like their latest, the Kadas Edge, which is definitely one of my favorites. Very powerful rock chip CPU, but this definitely blows it out of the water with that 12 core 16 thread x86 CPU. And in order to get this connected to the extra accessories that Kadas is going to be selling, we have the mine port, which is a proprietary port that will allow us to connect to those accessories or extra modules. But we can also add an extra SSD very easily. We've got this little hatch here. It's got a very strong magnet. And this will support a 2230 M.2 SSD. This is the 3.0 NVMe slot. But really, having this hatch here is pretty awesome because we can actually connect an Oculink eGPU to this. I've tested it already and it works amazing. Video will be coming up very soon. Now, in order to get a bit deeper, we do need to remove four screws from the bottom. But as you can see, we've got these rubber strips. Personally, I just wanted to heat them up to, uh, you know, loosen up the glue there so I didn't rip them or anything like that. Once I put a little heat on them, I could peel them off really easily and they can go back on later without an issue. Remove these four screws and the bottom plate pops right off. Now, one of the big reasons I've always been a big fan of Kadas products is the build quality. I've never had an issue with any of their boards or anything like that. And this is built like a tank. I mean, the way they've put this together is very, very impressive. And another thing I like about their boards is they use this black PCB. It's not going to make a difference with performance or heat dissipation or anything like that, but I think it looks really good. Like we saw, we can access one of these 2230 NVMe SSDs externally, but we have this other one here, which is PCIe 4.0. This comes with a one terabyte drive pre-installed and that 32 gigabytes of RAM. We've got our power button here and we've also got our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas. So uh, we'll just go ahead and pop these off of the module. This thing is laid out really nicely and build quality with these Kadas products is top notch. Like I mentioned, I've never had an issue with any of the stuff that I've ever reviewed on the channel. I've taken a look at all of their single board computers. So now that we have the main board out, we can flip it over. And you might notice this does have an internal battery. It's not actually here to power the unit. It's a standby battery. So you can put this in standby mode and you can get up to five hours of standby with it. But it's great because you can put it to sleep, unplug it, go to your next location, boot it back up, and you can start right where you left off. Blower style fan, nice little heat sink here. And in my testing, this actually runs at 32 watts with a boost up to around 47 for a short period of time. I didn't have it overheat in my gaming test, the last video I created. Actually got some really great performance here. We only have Intel Iris Xe graphics, it's got 96 execution units, but with the latest ARC drivers from Intel, a lot of that stuff really does help out with these iGPUs. So we're actually seeing a nice boost in performance on these Intel integrated graphics. Overall, really like what Kadas has done here, and I've got a couple more videos coming up. I'm going to be adding an Oculink eGPU using that free M.2 slot down here. I've got an Oculink adapter, and if you're not familiar with Oculink, 
This will run it up to 63 gigs a second, as opposed to like Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 at 40 gigs. And with something like GPD's brand new G1 eGPU that supports Oculink right out of the box, we can get some really great performance. Now, unfortunately, this NVMe slot on the bottom is only 3.0, but it's still going to outperform Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4. And given the fact that this runs at about 32 watts, we don't need to split that power up between the iGPU and the CPU with an external graphics card connected, so we can definitely hit those higher boost clocks on the CPU and get some awesome gaming out of the way on this thing. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the internals. Keep an eye on the channel because I've got a couple more videos coming up. And if you're interested in checking out my initial first look video, we did a lot of testing over there. Benchmarks, gaming on the iGPU. Link for that is in the description. If you want to learn a little more about the Kadas Mine, I'll leave some links to their official website in the description. But like always, thanks for watching.